Kenneth Walker's parents say for their son, what happened on March 13th isn't a black and white issue. It's between right and wrong. That, that night, uh, I can't even, it makes me sick of my stomach. Felicia Walker lived through the day Breonna Taylor was killed by LMPD officers. On the other side of the phone with her son, Breonna's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker. He did call me. And then, you know, I directed him to call 911. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. For me as a mom, when I saw the George Floyd thing and George Floyd was calling his mom, and that's all I could hear. You know, mama, and we as mothers know what that tone means. During his police interview, Kenneth says Brianna was asleep when they heard bangs at their door. Police claim officers announced themselves. Neighbors I spoke to and Kenneth said they did not. Valicia says she instilled in her children never to open their door unless you know who's on the other side. I don't care if you knock all day long. Somebody that wants to hurt you will knock. The walkers say March 13th was the first time their son used his gun outside of a shooting range. He says he thought someone was breaking in and shot at the ground. If you kick in the door and they don't know who's coming in that house, that's, they gonna fire first and ask questions like that. I mean, that's called protection. That's why, you know, most people have weapons in their home. Police shot Brianna five times in her hallway. Kenneth, right beside her. And I lost a piece of my son. I lost a daughter. The walkers say Brianna set the standard and Kenneth followed. She was the one. That's why Valicia says she didn't hesitate when Kenneth asked for her ring to propose. Something for the wedding would have been, you know, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And I was going to give this to her. Pieces of the couple's future sit in a box next to the Jordans the couple set aside for their next plan, their first child. Oh, those little things like that for a grandbaby that I'll never meet. The walkers say Kenneth relives the shooting every day and he struggles with severe PTSD. He has to heal without her or he has to heal from losing her. The walkers say Kenneth is learning what his world looks like without the one who made him whole. Reporting from Louisville, Felicia Ashley, Wave 3 News.